Alright, uh, good afternoon, fellow students and Mr. Sparacino. I'm about to test my first design for my hole. Uh, right now, this is what I this is what I in my research. This is called a V-shaped hole, a deep V-shaped hole. Uh, excuse me. So essentially, uh, I already have five pennies in there because um, that's just what I was testing at the beginning. But essentially, this kind of hole is used in something called a power boat, which are really strong. Those you see those paddle ships, they're all V-shaped boats because they're all able to support a ton of weight. However, one um, disadvantage I found about this design is the fact that, you know, it's not incredibly stable unless, you know, it's perfectly made. So I found that out the hard way. You see how my boat isn't exactly standing up straight. So that's definitely, um, that's definitely a con of this design. But it seems to be pretty strong. Right now I have five pennies in there and it seems to be holding up pretty well. So I'm about to add another five in there. Okay, these are all pennies of the same kind. So I'm about to add five. Five pennies at a time, right here. And if I add them to the boat, right now I have ten pennies in there, and it's and the boat is still not sinking. It's supporting its weight, and it is definitely not touching the bottom of the of the the pot. I guess it's was um, okay. So I'm gonna add another five in there to see if it can still hold up. It looks like it's sinking a little bit though, so I'm not sure if it will. Five pennies. I'll drop them in one at a time. Oh man, it still seems to be holding its weight, but I don't think it's gonna be able to be able to take any more. You can tell it's already starting to <laughs> collapse under the weight of the pennies. A water, a little water is going in the boat, so I'll add f five more and probably just collapse. So. Five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and the boat completely collapses. So, what I found is it can hold up to about 15 pennies at this time. So, this sort of shape is very useful, like I heard from our research. And larger and larger um, boats, such as, as I mentioned before, battleships and perhaps cargo ships, because it's just able to carry a large load. However, it's not very efficient in smaller loads because it just doesn't balance well and doesn't really work on this situation. It's also only not very fast either. So if you wanted like a faster boat, you would go for a different kind of design. But for this, in this case, um, the V design worked out decently well. Okay, so um, I'm here with my second design. This is what I call a round. This is what they call a round-shaped hole. This is usually used in slower passenger boats, um, so it can also be used to carry loads because it, it also can't reach a speed of the of the uh, other boats, such as maybe a flat bottom or a double hole. But it is still reasonably fast. Its shape isn't very incredibly aquadynamic, but what it is good for is the fact that it can carry heavy loads and it's not incredibly difficult to make. So essentially. It doesn't require that much material. So here's my here's my test of the round hole design. So right here, I'm gonna get my first five pennies. Five pennies. There's five. See how the bolt is holding up very well. No leaking. It's not singing very much either. So I'm gonna get five more. Here's another five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Three. I'll try to try to space this out a little better, so you know it doesn't completely tip over. So there is ten. One, two, three, four, five pennies. Five. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay, so there's another, there's another, that's 15 right there. Both seem to be holding out pretty well. There's 20. Five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you see how it's tipping over a bit? Uh, it's not, it's not completely even. But yeah, so this, this one's also about, can hold about 20. Um, I might retest this a little bit. Like I'll show you the results if it's able to hold more because this one 
This one, the boat, they had too many pennies caused the boat to collapse. So this one, I say the limb is about 15 as well. But it held up pretty well. Uh, especially for it, it's aluminum design, of course. But, hey, there's a round shape hole, and yeah, thank you very much for watching.